to the Anything Goes Hokkaido video and audio podcast. I'm Delena, one of your hosts, and... Shinya, yes. And a bit of a special, special yes, special edition. Just going through things about us. I mean, things about Hokkaido, things about Japan at the moment during Corona. Uh, see what we are doing, uh, the conditions here. Things like that. So, just a few news topics today, just a bit of a special one. Right. Just wanted、yes. to stay connected with everybody.、Uh, we did upload our fourth episode、uh, with David Sweetlow and got some really positive feedback from that one. And we also have reached how many followers on Facebook? Like 250? I don't check Facebook that often. 300? I only know the Instagram one and the subscribers. <laughs> yeah. Well, the、progress. views were pretty good actually for the fourth one. s u r p r i s i n g I didn't check them. Yeah, the, the problem is YouTube, YouTube doesn't update the views very quickly. So... No, they don't. Yeah.、Uh, when, I, when I went to look, I was like, oh, that's. No, okay. And then I actually. When you, when you see. It, like, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's quite a few I more. I was thinking of doing this soon. Since Facebook and YouTube have completely different and competing systems、right. and algorithms,、um, I was thinking we would upload the episodes if Facebook. Facebook will allow to. Yeah. And I might even test the limits of Instagram's、uh, TV option and see if they would let us do a whole 45 minute or so thing. I, I think it's possible since、right. John Mayer does his live show and you can watch that. Yeah. Um, afterwards, so might as well upload to the different media outlets and、mm. have that work in our favor. Yes, be more yes. accessible, not worry about the YouTube counts so much. Right, right. So, be working anyway, on that. Yes, yes. Anyway, so firstly,、uh, well, it's not really recent, but already came out two weeks ago that、uh, the Prime Minister、uh, Shinzo Abe decided to give. All Japanese citizens, Jumayan, or how do I say, a thousand US dollars, around a thousand US dollars. Thousand US dollars、yeah. Yes. Any information that you have about this?、Um, uh, yes. If you have a my number, which would be almost everyone living here, should be eligible for this. Should be. Everything is a should be when it comes to、uh, governments here and otherwise, I think.、Nice. Uh, but Yes, you should be receiving a postcard in the mail at some point to fill in and put your bank account information, etc. I know in the case of my family, with myself, my husband, and our two children, we should be receiving for each person.、Mm. But again, it's a should be. Yes, it could change.、Um, uh, yes. If you、I、are、don't... a US citizen, The US stimulus package might also be available. However, that is also a. Hold on a sec. That US stimulus package might also be available. However, that's also a should be. <laughs> If、All、you、right. have filed your taxes for 2018 or 19, you're not supposed to need to do anything else. But just、uh, keep your eyes and ears open. And that's、okay. all I know about that. Yes. Well, Yeah, I don't have any news of anyone who has received the mail yet, so、uh, still waiting. Yes.、Uh, well, I think people are just now beginning to receive、uh, the masks in the mail. Oh, yeah. The mask. Yes, and how long did that take? A few months? Yes, and they are apparently not bad for children's faces, but totally not the right size for adults. Really, because it's really small? That's what I've been hearing. Really? Yeah. Wow. This, is not really, too... this is not really common in Japan. It feels, like, it feels like Japan is very quick about things, but I guess during this sort of panic moments, Japan is a bit like everyone. <laughs> a bit slow. Yeah. Yes, so, so、mm. uh, things are moving on. I freaked out just a tiny little bit when I went to the supermarket last night,、uh, 24 hour Seiyu. Yes. I think it was mostly just that they were really in the middle of restocking everything, so the shelves looked bare. 
for anything that was like fresh goods, like bread and vegetables. There were、okay. no avocados, no bananas. <laughs> But everything was really expensive, like way more than usual. Ah, all right. And My... since、mm. I went shopping for a whole week instead of、uh, every day or every other day, like is common in Japan. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I spent that much money in one go. Uh, because I like cooking, I usually spend quite a bit of money every time I go shopping for myself. Yes. But my supermarket is, what is it? What is it? Top value. Uh, yeah. I used to yes, top value. So it is quite cheap. I think it's one of the cheapest in Sapporo, the one next to my share house. So, um,. Everything's quite stocked up, but it's always very, very busy. So、mm-hmm. you're waiting、uh, for the cashier, the register, for about 15 to 20 minutes. Ooh, wow. Yes, because there's a massive、busy. line. Yes. So it's cheap, been... but,、mm. yeah, it's cheap, but it's busy. Yeah. I don't know that I've ever been shopping in a grocery store in the heart of downtown like that. Okay.、Uh, is it open 24? Hours, no,、or? no. Okay, no. so yeah, Seiyu Just... is owned by Walmart, I think. Okay. Rare 24 hour supermarkets. They are saying that to go in the afternoon is probably the less crowded time. Although I tell you, midnight, 1 a.m., there、wow. were <laughs> five people no, in that store、yeah, besides this... the workers.、Um, I'm surprised but... they have a 24 hour supermarket. They do. You know, that was one of the few culture shocks I had here is they close things still so early, like it's the 1950s or something. I mean, even the ATMs close at 7, 8, or 9 p.m., depending on where see, they're located. You should go to Australia. All shops, like, not except for restaurants and bars, are closed from 6, 7 p.m. In Australia,、wow. like, even in the middle of Sydney, like, Shops, just gift、Why? shops and luxury stores, they're closed at 6 7 p.m. This is just Australia, just oh, it's 6 p.m. We're gonna close, that's it. So, sounds like maybe a work life balance thing, even for shop owners. You don't think、maybe. they should open when everyone finished work? I totally think they should. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm trying to understand this. is just a thing in Australia, this maybe. Maybe on some days they are open a bit later on a Saturday night or a Friday night, but other than that, nope. Yeah, wow, that's really weird. <laughs> in、so、the US, when I, so many places I, are open 24 7. Really? And,、yeah. then I, and then I come to Japan, and then there is a, a ramen and yakiniku restaurant that are open until 8 a.m., 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's the other extreme. Yeah. <laughs> For me,、uh, like family restaurants that offer breakfast any time of day are really popular in the US. So you can、uh, go to those t i l like 2, 3, 4 in the morning.、Um, okay. It's pretty cool, but not a lot are open 24 7. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah but here I... it's just like cash society, even now, took a while、mm. to get used to. And、yeah. I, do, I still don't understand why ATMs have to close. <laughs> They're machines.、Mm, well, to be honest, I don't actually use ATMs very often, so I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. I, I, still, I still use my card. Oh, well, it has progressed a bit more where cards are easier to use now than when I first came, but. Yeah. I was used to using a debit card even when I was in high school. And, right.、Uh, definitely in college in the States, so. Exactly the、But、same as me. Research proves you spend less money when you use card, hard cold cash. Ah, interesting. I, I agree with that. Yeah, But、so、I do I think.、Like、and then I do think if you use a debit card instead of a credit card, you also spend less money. I think <laughs> there's research on that too. Because, because it's you your own money. Yeah. But yeah. I, I still think you tend to spend a little more with plastic than paper or coins as well. But、here. I do. I just do think. Most countries these days, I mean, in Europe, America, Australia, it's just a cashless country in a way. So you can go around just with a card. So you just get used to that. So when、yeah. you come back, when you go to Japan or you come back to、okay. Japan, yes, it's yes. 
be prepared to have cash. Um, yes. There's a lot of places that will not accept credit cards, and mm. usually they'll say so, but not in English necessarily. Or they have a sign somewhere. Somewhere. But... And if you don't see it or can't read it, then you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it happens. Always carry yes. some cash with you、uh, if you're traveling around Japan.、Uh, speaking of things closing early, when I was in Bishiri, Leibun Islands、uh, mm. last summer for the Have Fun in Hokkaido airport programming, there was this couple from, I think, Thailand that were out on the beach where we were filming the sunset. And it was this gorgeous、um, praying hands rock beach. Yep. And、uh, have you been there? I've heard of it. I've seen pictures、okay. and stuff, but no. Anyway, I saw this couple there and I, I walked by them and it was so romantic. I was like, this is like a proposal. Don't want to bother them. But I did say hello and like, what are you doing? They were showing me their pictures. And on my way back, it's like, oh, we got some good pictures. And oh, by the way, can you help us? Like, we got this English map、mm. tourist guide.、Um, we need to call a taxi because we took the last bus to get here. Right. Like, okay. So I got on my phone, and in Japanese, I was calling the first taxi company listed, and they're just like, We close at five. And this is like 7 30, 8 p.m. at this point.、Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Okay. And they hung up on me. And then I called the next one, and they're like, Wait, where are you? That's on the other side of the island. No way, goodbye. And then I called the third one out of three listed, and I had my interpreter who was working with me answer. So. I don't sound much like a foreigner on the phone, I've been told, but、uh, just in case. I don't think so, yeah. No, but I had the interpreter speak undeniably <laughs> native Japanese, and they told her the same thing like, the taxi services close at 5 p.m. on the island. Wow. And I think you should write that down in your tour guide. <laughs>、uh, so we ended up making room in our van with the whole camera crew. Wow, so nice. And it was right、yeah. on our way to our lodgings. So it was really lucky for us and them.、Um, so、for them, you that, mean? For them. But I felt <laughs> like lucky for us that we got to help somebody out that would have been、right. walking in the dark in a very rural area for a long time to get back where they were staying. Wow. So, anyway,、uh, yes, be aware when you're traveling in Japan, things probably can and do close early, and you need cash. And now for a brand new section Tasty Travel Tips. Taberu to Raberu. Now is the typical season when Tomamu Resort opens up its Unkai Terrace so people can come and see the early morning sea of clouds. This phenomenon tends to only happen about 30% of the time, so be sure to plan for a few days or bring your extra luck with you. At the Unkai Terrace Cafe, you can enjoy a cloud coffee and a variety of really amusing treats. Down below at the Tomama Resort, where you can hear our own Delena's voice on the buses, there are tons of different restaurants and cafes to tickle your fancy with tasty treats. One of our favorites was the Hokkaido Soft Serve Asparagus Ice Cream. In the neighboring town of Furano, as summer approaches, Lavender can be seen while you dine on famous French cuisine. The Furano French offers lots of fresh in house grown vegetables, herbs, and the special touch of Michelin star chefs. Don't forget to plan a trip to Tomamo and Furano when you come to Hokkaido. All right. Yes. So, se- second topic is about, of course, in Hokkaido, there's Well, this was a few weeks ago as well, but they have the second, we call it the second wave of emergencies. So, another sort of lockdown. But I mean, for example, I'm studying, or、oh, I'm not studying, teaching at a、uh, childcare or kindergarten, whatever you call it, your chien.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, they are starting the online classes now. So, I'm doing that at the moment. However, There are still quite a lot of people outside.、Um, everyone is wearing masks. Everyone's、Not、wearing everyone, masks. Everyone, but most people, yes. Most people, most people. However, yeah, they, it's like the emergency, but people are still outside. 
It's mm-hmm. uh, yeah. people are still at restaurants. There are still nomikais, but for example, I have some friends that work at uh, the Eon Eon branches and uh, other English school, right? English school. Eon English school. No, 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 Eon, like the Eon company. You mean like the one? I'm confused. Um, there's A E O N. Yeah. Aeon, Eon shopping mall. Eon in Kaiwa. Ah, uh, I O N. I think it's related. No, it's the same. I think it's the same company. Oh, um, really? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. No, no, no. Yes, she But works for. Anyway. She works she for, works for adver- for... advertising for the whole Eon Hokkaido. I see. Yes, so they have like stopped their nomikais and they have sort of split the shifts where people have to work at different times, so they don't get in contact with each other. And other friends that work in restaurants and uh, what do you call it, a clothing store and things like that. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> retail, retail. That's correct. Yeah, that retail. And of course, that as well is. Either closed or reduced hours. Mm-hmm. So, sure. of course, lots of shops are closed, but I do think there are still quite a few people outside. Yes, and we're really coming up on like Golden Week time, where the government's asked people not to travel. But one of my friends has noticed a lot of Asahika and Takodate license plates right. driving through Sapporo, and so maybe people. I'm not following that perfectly.、Mm. Well,、um, I don't know exactly like what Japan has told us to do. Or to be yes, well, I'm staying home pretty much every day, other than going shopping. And yeah, my gym is closed now, so、mm. I can't go there. But pretty much, we'll be inside until end of Golden Week. What is it, sixth of May? And then that's when school is starting up again. Shops are starting to open up. We'll、see if we have even come through the second wave, or start a third、right. wave, or what will happen? Yes.、Um, learning as we go, for sure. Yes. So, I don't know.、Curious. How's the situation in America? Do you know? We're number one in the world for coronavirus. Oh yeah, well,、uh, for about I, a month already. <laughs> I actually have a policy that I don't watch the news or intentionally read newspapers. If it's important, then someone will tell me. Okay. About it, otherwise it's just sens- sensationalized fear mongering, or it's it's negative、right. stuff. I try to avoid it.、Um, I did read some articles online yesterday about how the current U.S. government has really made a mess of things this time round. But、mm. anyway,、uh, that's、I、just kind of how、yes. it is at the moment.、Uh, New Zealand's prime minister. Uh, oh, I forgot her name. Her name is Jacint- Jacinta, but I forgot her last name. <laughs> but、uh, she's doing pretty well、uh, for the New,、uh, New Zealand government.、Um, yeah. She's moving from a level four to a level three, so shops are starting to open up again.、Um, I think Australia is copying and doing the same as well. From this week or next week, they are starting to、uh, reduce the risk level. So you can start going out for drives, go camping,、uh, do a little bit more things outside. However, of course, they still have the、uh, social separate what is it, social distancing、yeah. rule where you cannot be next to someone that's like two meters or one and a half meters or something like that. So,、yeah. yes, Australia and New Zealand is getting better in a way. But who knows? Maybe they'll go back up to level four. Maybe it will get even better. Just not sure about.、Hope. Yeah, yeah. So I'm curious.、Uh, your kindergarten, preschool classes online. Have you started those? Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow, I started teaching my kindergarten. Right. Of my own volition,、uh, having so much work suddenly cancelled. Of course, is not great for me, and also all the parents at home with their kids needing something to do. I thought, why not take a go at it? So we did、mm. have our first、uh, trial Zoom lesson with about eight to ten 
children. Right. And it went just as I had expected it to um, and really well. And then I sent out surveys to people, you know, about 24 hours ago and expected to get notified through the Google survey that I had responses. But for whatever reason, I didn't get the notification. So around okay. 5 a.m. this morning, I checked and I have like five or six responses saying they wanted to continue doing English. So I said, OK, I will do a class today for anyone who comes and uh, we have yeah. some participants but from my experience and I've been teaching online English to ages like elementary through late adult uh, for mm. 13 years I'm a veteran at this and when you're teaching little kids especially it takes I feel like twice the energy during class to keep their attention oh it does and it also does, preparing takes a lot more time so i wish you the best of luck in that and also i mean yes i do it goes i do think uh for me online it's i'm not sure if it's easier or not but uh teaching the kids at the childcare, like they're up to five years old it's from mm -hmm. two to five years old so yeah. you just do the best you can make sure they have fun be the star of the show yes. and make them uh, entertained try not to do the same thing for a long time because they get bored very easily so just yes. keep switching it up oh, yeah. move move and read a book that's, and then stand up again and that's try and learn that's the hardest challenge because my first class was all really small kids today and they were in high chairs so wow. I had a very hard time getting them to do Especially limited. online. All, yes, in that situation, face to face is much better. But oh, yes, easier. Yes. So we'll see tomorrow. Yes. Well, uh, let's collaborate on those things. Maybe make a group or something where people can share their online teaching tips and challenges. I know there are quite a few out there already, but I haven't encountered one for preschool in Japan yet. Mm. And I am currently writing a book about teaching preschool here because I've been doing that for 17 years okay and I have a lot of experience and I'm a fly by the seat of my pants kind of teacher <laughs> um, so I come well prepared with a huge bag of supplies and I make up songs on the spot that I'm still singing years and years later or come up with chants and games right. and ideas that work for me so I think I have a lot of information to offer other teachers, but also one teacher in particular who has agreed to take over this class I've taught for these 17 years because I will be teaching university mm. from after Golden Week at that same time slot online. Mm. So that's my big challenge for the next uh, couple of days. I have to update my syllabus, which I already turned in okay. before the end of the month to reflect the online teaching ch changes, which is everything. I had to give up using a textbook uh, because it became less practical not right. being face to face so I'm preparing materials I'm making lessons with uh, Bitmoji ah uh, yeah <laughs> that's going to be really fun okay alright so just another wrap up uh, maybe a few words Japanese words at the end to end it off and now our Japanese language learning tips corner Yes, any yeah. phrases, any uh. words. So, for example, do you know what the difference is between suimasen and sumimasen? You know, actually, I really don't accept they are two different ways people say it. I think, yeah, I think it's just that. I think suimasen recently is just an easier way of saying sumimasen i'm not sure if one is a little bit more formal than the other but i, I think feel like sumimasen, sumimasen sounds a little more uptight or like uptight textbook, but like textbook probably. but you can Most think people... about because sumimasen is more like it is harder to say so maybe it could be a little bit more formal and sumimasen is like an excuse me but a bit a little bit more casual in a way can be yeah. not exactly sure but someone can uh, is it regional at all or could be as I well yes. so anyway so. Uh, what does sumimasen sumimasen mean 
Yes, so as I said just then, excuse me. Yes, excuse me. What you use to get attention in restaurants or any kind of business where you need someone's help, you just kind of raise your hand if you would and be like, Sumi Masen. So yes, to... and then if you want to try and pass someone, <laughs> yeah, as like well that. as excuse me, yes, yes. yes. very useful. Same very as good. same as English as well, and then maybe one more. Anything else that comes to mind? Um, instead of just one more, have a, a quick category of things. There okay. There are katakana words, which okay can be really difficult for people. I know people that have lived here. 30, 40 years, and they'll be speaking perfect Japanese, and then suddenly, when it gets to a word that's been taken from English, they just say it in a complete English accent without、right. pronouncing it. Like, I'm mostly from Florida state,、mm. and I've heard people say, Watashi wa Florida kara d e s Ah. Instead of, Watashi wa Florida kara d e s So it's、yes. Florida. And Florida. there are words like,、um, I have this guitar right here Gita.、Mm. Gita. Gita.、Mm. Yes. Same as, well, most countries, like if you talk about、uh, last night, I had a s- conversation about Greece. Greece? Like, yes. Greece? Yes. So, do you know what Greece is in Japanese? Grisha? It's like Girisha, I think. So, Girisha. Yes.、Mm. So, a little bit different. Turkey、yes. is Turko.、Uh, convenience store is Kombini. So, yes. Konbini,、so, which is super useful、uh, and hard to go back to English when you're used to calling it a konbini. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. So, lots、But、of things. Some words are really straight. Like, if you can just figure out how to pronounce it, like a lip gloss would be lip g l o s s It's too long. <laughs> But、yeah, they are. Well, okay, speaking of long, McDonald's in Japanese? Mac. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's, yes.、Oh, tongue twister. Okay, so we'll put up our list of words when we get this、yes. podcast up, which will probably be next in line after our Sakura Chocolate edition, which Jenny edited for us. Yeah, maybe、really、around、great. that time, yes.、Yeah. yes. So, thank you, Shinya, for this update special. Thanks, Delena, yes. Yes,、And、we'll probably be back for another update soon. I、Maybe、so. after, after Golden Week, I think, is probably a good time. Sure. Yes. All right. Good luck with your work and the stay at home Golden Week holidays. Yes. Stay safe, everyone. See you、yes. guys next time. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Stuck it. A huge thanks to everyone who has made this podcast possible. We want to especially thank Shinya and Delena. That's me for putting all this work into making this a great show. For all of our guests, past and future, thank you. If you would like to be a sponsor, have us promote your business or favorite thing about Hokkaido in Japan, just send us a line on Instagram, Facebook, or anything goes Hokkaido at gmail.com. Stay tuned for the next episode and stuck it!